Oh, hello, I'm Ted. I'm here with Joe Goddard, TJ Miller, and Katie Lazarus. And we're talking about Levi Johnston. He's running for mayor, and he's getting a reality show. How nutty is that? What kind of world are we living in, folks? Name recognition. I felt like today I was hoping that they'd have a reality show about the airplane guy, that they could have something like, you know, who's going to be ejected next or something like that from their seat. I think that would be slightly more interesting to watch than Levi Johnston. Yeah, the slide of shame and all that. Right, right. Yeah. Like the weakest link. Perfect. <laughs> It'd be like the weakest link meets slide of shame. <laughs> <laughs> Goodbye, and then you get so slid off the plane. So much more interesting. It's just slide off the annoying passengers. But he's already stripped naked for Playboy, right? He's. He, yeah, he, he was in Playgirl, I think. I apologize. Yeah, Playboy. That might. I don't know if that's what they want. Or, I just Playboy would have to apologize to us if he was. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry about that one. Whoops, <laughs> got them confused. Um, is, does, he, do you th does he have any legitimacy in this? Well, I mean, obviously, he has celebrity. Is that, is that well, uh, uh, something you need to have? Do you need to have legitimacy in order to have a reality show? Like, I, I think no, I mean, like a political a career. Right. He wants, but, I mean, do you think he could actually get elected? Because he's running for mayor of Wasilla. Do you think he actually could win? I don't know what people in Wasilla are like. How many people are there there? I don't know. Like, did, does he have to get all five votes or something, or what? I don't know the population. Sarah Palin was small. able to do it. Why can't he? Yeah. But he's even wackier than her, it seems like. Sarah can do it. Why ain't we rich? You know? Right. You ever wonder? Of course, she's got looks. She does. So does Ben Quill. Get it back to her husband. Huzzah! <laughs> <laughs> <That's laughs> yeah. Yeah, I think, you know, he, like Ben Quill, they just have some weak link to somebody who had been involved in politics. They go, well, I'm next, right? You know? I like Levi because I feel like he's such a perfect poster child for the pro-choice movement. So I'm really a big supporter of him. I think the more time he spends in front of the camera, the better. I think it'll really wake people up to realize that maybe teen pregnancy doesn't have to be. Right, you just show a picture of him like you could end up with this. Yeah, exactly. All right. I, was, I had to explain the joke. I don't know really why I had to re-explain a joke. I can't think of my own. <laughs> well, do you think it could help uh, remove the blight of reality TV? So, oh, right. If you, I mean, if we go so far low, like if we hit the lowest common denominator, will that end reality TV yeah, as we know it? Even the lowest con common denominator won't watch it? I mean, I lo that's too logical, I think, for Hollywood, oh. the way that you're thinking. Yeah, I um, think people will always watch reality television now. It's sort of here to stay. Well, how low is it going to go? Because now it's got a Jersey Shore, and I mean, it just seems like it's yeah. getting trashier and trashier. But well, we know why the networks do it, why they do reality TV. It's cheap. But why do they watch it? That's a good question. TJ watches all of the shows, so he's the real one to comment here. I'm, I'm more into NPR. Uh, I don't know oh, oh, that's yeah. a good one. I like that channel. Uh, I don't watch much reality television, but my younger sister said that Jersey Shore is hilarious. And so people watch it sometimes so well. And I think also... I've heard that. I've heard that Snooki's really funny in between spray tans. No, that's, that's, that's what, what they I've said. heard from your little sister. Not intentionally, is it, right? No, I don't think it's intentional. Yes. Also, I watched 16 and Pregnant and got into that because people are interested in other people's <laughs> that lives. That doesn't sound sketchy at all. That's a little sketchy. You know, entitled I, 16 you know, and Pregnant. I said it wrong. I got a girl 16 and she was pregnant. <laughs> Sorry, I got a girl pregnant and she was 16. Uh, we didn't yeah, that was reversed. I, I was confused there. Yeah. That makes interesting. Sense. 16 and Pregnant sounds a lot like the Levi Johnston show, so it feels like it's already been done, right? It is, that's right. It would be it's sort of rehashing that with a political spin. Yeah. Not too much of a political spin, because she was, I mean, Sarah Palin only served for half a term as a congress, or sorry, as a governor. Excuse me, not the sharpest tool in the shed, but that's why I didn't run for governor. Why won't you run for governor? Among, I don't even run in general. Like I should be running. For oh, you can't somebody. see Russia from your back. <laughs> yeah, you don't have that political experience yeah. you need. That was pretty amazing. I can't even afford a window in the back of my studio. So yeah. Oh, I like this window. So do I. What do you guys think of windows?